The following video evidence proves that the Obama-released long-form birth certificate is more than likely fraudulent. The birth certificate contains kerning. Kerning is possible only using a modern computer. It was not possible using a 1960s typewriter. Kerning is the process of adjusting the spacing between characters in a proportional font. It is usually used to achieve a visually pleasing result. Again, this was not possible on a 1960s typewriter. As proof of this fact, observe with your own eyes. Note the Nordyke twins' Hawaiian birth certificate. Their birth was the very next day after Obama's in the very same hospital. On the line that lists the hospital as Kapiolani Gynecological Hospital, note that each letter takes up its own unique space on the page. I have circled specifically the AP in Kapiolani, the TY in Maternity, and the GY in Gynecological. Why are these circled? Because one day before the Nordyke twins were born in Kapiolani Hospital, Obama was purportedly born there. Yet his birth certificate, one day earlier, uses the modern computer technique of kerning on the very same words. Note the AP, the TY, and the GY. Each letter encroaches upon the space of the other letter. This technology was not possible when Obama was born, and in fact, one day after his purported birth at Kapiolani, the Nordyke twins' birth certificate does not use kerning. Note that on Obama's birth certificate, just above the line of the hospital's name is the word city. This word is a part of the original form, and the TY in city has no kerning. Other examples of computer-generated kerning on Obama's birth certificate include the NY in Kenya and the TY in university. Note again, on the original form, the word type contains a TY, but there is no kerning. Each letter takes its own vertical space. Of course, on the 1960s original form, there could be no kerning. Yet, in the blanks filled in, on Obama's birth certificate, kerning exists, but not on the Nordyke twins' birth certificate one day later. The evidence of kerning is positive proof that the long-form birth certificate that Obama presented to the world and swore to be his original birth certificate is more than likely a fraud manufactured with modern computer technology. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.